Hi right, guys, welcome back to another episode of CEO Cast, first one of 2020. And I'm really excited about this one because it's something I've been excited about since I saw it at AWC. Um, we are with the CEO, Mark, who is the CEO of Fuzzy Brick VR. I'll hand it over to you. Do you want to explain what your company is about? Yeah, so uh, yeah, Fuzzy Brick VR. So we're a mobile virtual reality entertainment business. Um, and yeah, we've only been going for about eight, eight and a half months now. Um, but you, we've we've literally gone from um, strength to strength in terms of you know really kind of exposing ourselves out there. Um, we you know initially started off with a full racing sim- racing simulator, um, yeah. and we targeted ourselves towards corporate clients, and very quickly realised as well that we've got many opportunities to go into the team building and brand promotion aspects. Um, and yeah, we've evolved from there, from one game being a racing simulator to over thirty yeah. VR experiences. Um, so, so you do virtual, virt- sorry, you do virtual reality, is it? Correct. Yes, okay. P- primarily virtual reality. Um, and the big thing is that we we take virtual reality and really kind of put it within a package and really kind of accentuate to people how virtual reality can work for them in different ways. Yeah. So I'll ask you straight off the bat. Yeah. Same way I do with my other podcasts. That's is, all good. <laughs> how, how did you get into it? How did I get like, What was your background and how did you come into virtual reality? So my background, I mean, I've always been into tech, computers, design. Um, I was six years at university, product, industrial design. I then went into the fashion industry, um, another creative industry, really, um, working there 15 years, different clients, different brands. And, you know, it's a mixture of loads of things. Um, you know, you, you're somewhere for 15 years. Sometimes you want change. Yeah. But at the same time, you want challenge um, and you know, great to get the opportunity to, to, to launch Fuzzy Brick um, and and really kind of take something myself and, and go, right, you know, I want to do something myself, control it, the marketing, the everything, you know, the sales, where we want to pitch ourselves, the logo, everything. Um, but I what really got me into it was understanding that reading articles and looking into it was that virtuality is one day going to be the future ai or magnetic rea- you know reality is yeah, it's going to be at the tip of our fingers you yeah. know as well as in the mainstream so yeah no that's why i was excited about it because like you said it's the future and yeah. something i'm into tech myself so when, I, when i've used virtual reality for example when i've bought a vr headset for my samsung hmm. i thought that was wicked but you took it to a whole new level and when i saw that the first time i thought that was wicked yeah so what sort of events do you do? Because if you look at your website, you've got team building, you've got corporate events. So mm. if you want to just give a bit more detail on that. Yeah, I mean, like I said, initially we started with corporate events. Um, you know, corporates generally have the budget in there. But it's also an area where we, we believe that people are within that sector as well are looking to invest and looking into different ways of promoting their brands to team building. But very quickly, we also saw that team building um, was catered for quite a broad range of um, different kind of clients, different kind of companies and, and, and setups. And, and it wasn't as, as as regimented as we saw. Some people want it within a fun element. Some people yeah. want a challenging element. But very also one of our first first ones, uh, first events, was for a, a big bar mitzvah so if people got the budget oh, <laughs> yeah if people want the budgets and there's you know 12 13 14 year old kids screaming around they they had a wonderful three-seater racing set up um semi outside of, underneath the marquee on a summer's day it was phenomenal um and you can only guess that the parents were elbow barging their way through the queue past their own kids yeah. to try and get on to play so it was a great day but it shows that it is there if you can deliver it and, and and put it at the forefront you know people love that and you know we're doing things with dementia group now we you know we approach to help the heroes there's loads of applications for vr at the moment but, but with um just in regards with team building would mm. you say because one of the questions i received is that would you say team building is more practical than um virtual well this is the beauty so of like it. people go rock climbing and stuff like that mm. um and obviously you're doing virtual reality mm. But saying that there is a really good element where you've got the project screen that other people can see. But yeah. If you, yeah, well, this is, the, I mean, this is the thing. If you if you peel back the layers of team building, what you want to get out of it, a lot of people, don't get me wrong, there's this side of the element of, of team building that people say, right, let's go out, let's have loads of drinks, let's have loads of food. That's great. Yeah. Now, when you look at the aspect of what segment of that pie of team building it does, it gets people happy, gets people feeling, you know, mix, mixes people up. But... As a manager, sometimes you can sit there and go, do you know what? There's still that group over there and there's still that group over there and yeah. they've got their friends and they've got their friends. 
at the end of the day, that's great as a moral team building exercise, but sometimes you feel that you want to take that and add more. And what they want to know is how do people work together? How do they communicate? How do they solve problems? Yeah. There's many other aspects within the work environment that that won't get out of you. So what we've done is then incorporated that with, with fun, exciting games. And, you know, rock climbing, physical games, there's other physical team building activities out there that are great for building morale, you know, working together. But, if I can come into your office, any floor for two hours, yeah. set it up, pick any of the games that you want and, and and set up a leaderboard and come in fortnightly or every month and see how people's attitudes change towards the game. Mm. It's great because the accessibility is one of our biggest strengths. Yeah, I suppose it goes hand in hand because not only are you providing a different type of team building exercise, but when it comes to companies that, ha- that have the budget, they don't have to spend their budget on travel expenses and stuff like that. Whereas they could bring it straight into the office. Yeah. And everyone's inclusive. You could have it the whole office watching. Yeah. It could be something that could be timed. Yeah. That people come in and it's a bit of a excitement about it. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's all about also when people, I think a lot of people as well that have never put on a VR headset or especially when we use the PCs that are running top end graphics cards and we're running everything at the best refresh rates and, 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 and stream. Even the most immersive experience. It's isn't it? brilliant. Yeah. And people put it on and they're surprised. They're shocked. Yeah. You know, whether it's, you know, they're, they're walking a plank or whether they're, you know, playing a, you know, another team building game, you know, cooking between each other or managing a restaurant, you know, it's, it all, all kind of comes together and all, all heightens the senses. So, yeah, that's wicked. So where do you see the future of virtual reality going then? Seeing as you, you just said, like the future is going to be revolved around it. Where do you see it going and how do you think it's going to affect you or your business in that sense yeah i mean we we can only see that if we keep evolving we keep our ears close to the ground we listen to our clients that we will move in the with the times of how the application can work and not only the application but also how how we uh, how we move the technology and where we where we need to move next but if you look at vr in 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 this, in this extent and where that's moving you know everything from now that we start seeing architects seeing it um, in front of people, being being able to bring buildings in front of people, um, teaching and learning in schools, um, you know, there's there's many there's many ways that virtuality eventually will 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 become a place to chill out. You know, if you're on a high and stress job, you go into a room for 15 minutes, sit on a beanbag, you could be underwater, you could be playing, listening but to chill out music. It's basically the future of gaming as well, isn't it? I mean, if you look at PlayStation and stuff like that, a lot of them are coming out with their own virtual reality. Yeah, I think same thing going for actual like companies such as Oculus where they're having their own you don't even need a PlayStation no and you've got it straight there and then so you have you've really got cool. you know you know hand recognition um the 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 pace that it's taken off is is unbelievable in that respects to then see where VR is also going on the social side even on the technology side for example um went to a trade show IT trade show played a fantastic game that we could all all, all play but they had this sort of marvelous piece of technology plastic box in front of you you put the headset on they it recognizes your hands you think okay it's going to be um controlless it's beyond that you put the headset on you put your hand through this mirror or you put your hand around a crystal ball yeah. and you actually feel the crystal ball yeah, send in multiple amounts of different shock waves um up to your hand impulses and you can start feeling stuff you know it's weird as well um because even when i've like used virtual reality and for example someone puts on a roller coaster game yeah it's weird because you're not even there but you could still feel yeah, the g-force so- in your head it's a it's a weird i don't even want to talk about that so it's it's a unbelievable thing yeah, where, where, where it takes you within games that we've played time and time again and you're flying through the sky and you're landing on the floor, yeah. we still bend our knees. Yeah. To, to then emphasize that different aspects that you can actually start feeling things, yeah. I think will just start taking more and more of your brain away that you will actually start feeling like you're actually in these places. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's unbelievable. It's really the way cool. technology is going, isn't it? Exactly. Face recognition mm. a lot, yeah. So for people watching, you want to know how does this all come about? So you've been fairly fresh to it. You said you're roughly in it for about eight months. Correct, yeah. What did you have to do and what did you have to get for you to even get this running? Now, I think the big thing is, is that, you know, a lot of people do ask ask this question. And I also do assume as well that this he- I've got headset at home, nothing new here, all the rest of it there is a hell of a lot of layers within the business. So everything from the, the spec of the machines, yeah. um, you know, a lot of people use Playstations, as I said before, we use top end, high end graphics cards that from there, they will be able to run the high spec um uh, and some computers. of them graphics cards can even lead up to a thousand pounds, isn't it? Seven, eight hundred quid, as you said, a thousand pounds of the yeah. with needed calling. Um, and then we we obviously twin up to five of those PCs together. They all need to work in in sync. Um 
all the communication needs to be done by one to two people maximum. So whether we're using four keyboards or we've managed to manipulate that down, testing, testing, testing without the games yeah. is, is, is paramount. Um, on top of that, we have to come up with a logo. We have to come up with a, a catchphrase. We have to come up with social site. So with all the other fundamentals, I think, yes, people can start off with an actual product, but I think in the, in the, in the sector that we are, VR, there has to be a lot of proof in the pudding. Yeah. So we were starting off with, you know, hardly any imagery in terms of what we've done because we just started with from day dot. So we had to use a lot of references of where VR is going and what it's doing and what fuzzy brick is and what we can do. Yeah. Now we've within eight months in, we're very fortunate to have worked with some great partners and had some great imagery. And that really speaks volumes. As you know, picture speaks a thousand words, but we couldn't do any of that until we you really got the, the ball going. So, yeah. Well, speaking of which, where, what sort of clients have you had? Because I was looking for your Instagram and yeah. you've been to a couple of trade shows. You've done all them sort of bits. So Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've, we've been to we've been to IP Expo. Um, we That was probably one of our biggest icebreakers, to be honest with you. Um, don't get me wrong, we were doing okay at the start. We were getting um, clients and, 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 and speaking to different events companies, which is great. But going to someone like IP Expo and uh, we were invited there it was phenomenal uh, we had four racing seats to set up we had all the space that we needed phenomenal place um, you know we had 300 people walk through that standard day and play on that computer game oh really and yeah we and we you know we had some big vendors there as well and they were saying how busy our stand was it yeah. was phenomenal and i just think for us in terms of one of those cat elements of what we were doing saying that you know we can bring brand promotion to stand. We love Fuzzy Brick, yeah. Um, but we're not precious of our brand. That if a company said to us, "Mark, can we have a full racing seat, seat, racing simulator for our food brand or car brand?" Yeah, happily wear the t-shirts, happily have the banners, and let the VR do the talking. Yeah, bring people to your stand. That's what it's all about, isn't it? You're just bringing people together, and you're yeah. doing it through virtual reality, which is really good. That's a yeah. that's a good thing about the podcast is it brings people together. No, hundred percent in a different way. Which is yeah, wicked. and I, I think I think with what you're doing and how we operate as well um we're very open we we listen to our clients and we like to share our experiences we like to understand what they need from us yeah and i think the same is here that this is this is worth its weight and value to talk to people understand what people are doing there as i've said to many people before 2019 was the year to become you know entrepreneur it was more entrepreneurs than ever new entrepreneurs yeah and, a lot of people have said that yeah yeah and i think that is the driving force that people are starting to share and be more open and find niches in the market for whatever they're doing so you know we found ours but there's multiple amount of more people doing it and i think it's exciting yeah um i think it's exciting to see that people want to break the mold and you know go surpass the comp- big competitors out there and really kind of show themselves off so i've got a question pers- personally for you mark yeah, yeah. um you're saying you worked in the fashion industry for about 15 years yes how what sort of skills have you learned from there that you could take on to virtual reality well i think i think the big thing for me um was probably going back even further than that and there were things that really taught me how to how to um how to become a salesperson in the in the in the fashion industry was going back to my degree because Doing my degree, simplistically, was the fact that I had to design a product from the three-line brief all the way to the finished product. Okay, yeah. If you can understand a three-line brief to your thesis to then finishing off, um, you know, understanding your marketplace, understanding the product, you know, to your mood boards, to, you know, your model making, all the way to the final product, that then took me in good stead that I felt that even if I was selling something else apart from clothing, yeah. I could move on to that. And that's why I moved into VR understand that the product was there yeah all i had to understand was how, how can it be applied it it, exactly and and it was and, and and logo obsessively being a you know coming from that design background had to, i had to be obsessed about the logo yeah. and the name i can't just have any time how long we did it take to make the logo and the name well or it, think of it well the funny thing is is that when you do look at a lot of people out there now bloggers to people uh you know in the it world to People on fast moving platforms. Yeah, hundred percent. Uh, things have to be quirky and fresh. I, was, I say this to a lot of people all the time. The internet mm. moves so much more faster than it's reality. crazy quick. It's crazy quick. Mm. If you know that the shopping window is not a retail shopping street, yeah, you know that you see a big name. You're seeing hundreds of names a second on a on a social media platform because yeah, people flick through down, yeah. exactly on a, on an internet. So we wanted a name that I did want it to be quick, and I did want people even to get it wrong. Is it fuzzy bricks? Is yeah. it fuzzy dark? Is it? <laughs> well, yeah, no, we've had them all, but that's a good thing because then when people talk about it, they're 
repeating it in their mind subconsciously. But it all came around, you know, bare logo. He's got his uh, headset on. And we thought, wow, oh, fuzzy brick. He's wearing a brick. He's fuzzy. You know, we worked around that. And obviously the polygon effect is the whole kind of newness to it. So Yeah, 100%. Yeah. So Mark, seeing as you've got virtual reality events and it's quite fresh to the scene, yeah. how do you market that sort of product? Well, it's it's a tricky one. Um, but I think we just started off with a real kind of easy fundamentals. Um, as you know, if you've got big budgets, you can go big. You can go TV adverts. You can go um, magazines. But I think the real kind of... Um, you know, we're in an age now where there's social media platforms can literally take you from naught to 16 seconds. It's, it's crazy. You look at Instagram and we look at Facebook and, and, and LinkedIn, um, and all three do different jobs. Yeah. But it's a lot of people might you know, discourage one over the other or, you know, say, where's your Twitter and everything else. But being visual, I think it's very important, whether we're showing a picture, whether we're showing a poster, um, but we, yeah, we looked at Instagram, um, Instagram purely on, 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 you know, what we can throw through that in terms of imagery, LinkedIn, very good for business. Yeah. Um, you know, you, we really want to target events, coordinators to big corporate, but you know, big, big corporate events, event, you know, weddings, parties, event planners, all sorts. They're the ones, um, that will take that mantle. And then Facebook, as we know, is absolutely massive and yeah. it always will be, I think. Um, I mean, like you were saying to me on the phone when I called you, um, LinkedIn is basically a Facebook full of entrepreneurs and business owners. So it's perfect to get it's, your it's word It's brilliant. Across. Yeah, it really does work. And that kind of level of, of uh, connection is, is, is almost vital. And, you know, you see the amount of connections that these people have in terms of a professional portfolio. It's, it's massive. So, um, yeah, we, we, we're, we're finding that there's that. And then obviously, yeah, we will, we will do our website. Website's key. Yeah. Um, but it, it, a lot of it then directs through Instagram and, and people wanting mm. to see, well, what, what, what's the act, what's the action? What's, what are they doing now? Yeah. Um, whereas we do, we do link that up and people can even sit on the website and go through it. But that basis is, is, is really, really important. So where would you say you get most of your clients from then in, in terms of what platform? Well, it's, it's interesting. I, I'd say that the, the old school way of getting my clients and and cold calling people and t- trying to talk to people face to face to try and go into London or somewhere around the country to see people face to face do demonstrations is 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 all it will always be the you know bread and butter. Yeah. But in terms of getting clients, uh, Instagram was very good for us yeah. because you've got a lot of people on there that will use. Um, you know, use their search engine to find people. The hashtag, you know, is, is key and the hashtag will come up if you're looking for event planner or any kind of anything through VR. So, you know, we, we use that to direct message, to link people through. And we, we've had some good, good responses. Uh, just a quick one, because I, I don't think I'll ask this, but yeah, yeah. in terms of the business itself, have you got a team around or is it just yourself? Just myself, yeah. Just, yourself, just myself, yeah. Got um, got a couple of people that help me out under, you know, behind the with scenes. With events, yeah. Yeah, with events. Um, you know, if I need the extra hands, um, with you know, with support throughout. So, um, yeah, there's 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 people there, but they're very important people. But in generally, kind of turning the cogs and day keeping things day to day is myself. But yeah, I've got a couple of people very important to me that are helping in other ways as well. So if I asked you, if I called you and said I've got an event, yeah, how how soon could you make it happen? Well, it's, it's, if you called me up eight o'clock at night and you wanted something and I had nothing, nothing at all at nine o'clock, say eight o'clock the next day, depending on distance. Yeah. hundred mm. percent. Um, but we always like a little bit of time because I think the biggest thing is, um, is that we like to know whether it's a party, whether it's a corporate event, um, you know who the client is and what they want and yeah from from the age group to if it's a corporate event you know is their brand values you know is it uh, is that does it relate to what they're doing correct absolutely correct yeah is it is it is are they fast are they efficient do they have one of the best x y and z in the world what does the game relate to that yeah they purely just say mark i just want to scare my customers it's a christmas party i yeah. just want the clients to have a load of fun we'll give you fun per- perfect example is when uh alex had his event at awc and yeah obviously with virtual reality you're not going to put like a roller coaster on there seeing no, this is a car DC in place exactly so I think it was a perfect match when you had the car racing well like you know petrol heads are petrol heads they, they smell the fuel <laughs> they smell <laughs> the fuel and yeah. they go to it and when they I tell you guys <laughs> as soon as I saw that I yeah. jumped on it there and then and I hogged it <laughs> yeah man it, it, it's awesome it's um, I mean that that place was a brilliant setup for, for us um, because 
you look around and it was just nice clean lines and just these pop of cars that had just been beautifully detailed and then people around that are into the cars we were in a, a perfect soup as they say there was just nothing wrong you know and and it was great music it was great atmosphere and that's why people just it just all intertwined and i think if we get that right as well we're going to see other people that's what makes it people have a laugh people enjoy themselves you know and we think very quickly on the spot as well you know sometimes we take extra you know um headsets um if people want to try different games while they're also playing the games that they've they've you know at the end of the day you know we're there for people to have a good time and if it is a strict team building exercise and people on the spot we show as much encouragement as possible as well so yeah, no, you got to appreciate that like i was saying to you earlier on before the podcast I think the virtual reality place at AWC was busier than the bar itself. Oh, man, And that yeah. place was packed. <laughs> yeah, man, it was good, though. But I think I, it's because they, they haven't really seen it before. No. Like, when I walked in, I haven't seen that. I thought, wow. Yeah, it's an eye catch. I think as well that, um, as I said, a lot of those people in, in mindset go to see, um, see those guys because they got pride and joy and it's a car. And when it's, when it's a car and they see they could be driving another car, yeah. they will be jumping on that steering wheel and going again yeah and hopefully the graphics all blow them away they they sound like they really enjoyed it um a lot of people have tested that short course brand hatch and say it moves the way it does mm. um yeah so no it's really good so with the brand mark with yeah. fuzzy brick have you had any celebrities come and approach you yet not just as yet um but we do have we have some wicked endorsements actually um naturally through through friends of friends um and we've been very lucky actually and it was with our initial uh, launch really with the four racing set, racing setter setup so we've had um you know ex formula 1 test drivers and uh, we've had ex oh, really? karting yeah 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 uh, we've had uh, lamborghini gallardo uh, european um course drivers as well so okay. the best feedback back about that is because they're friends we literally can say to them, don't be nice, be critical, because yeah, that's yeah. what we want. And it's unbelievable that the the you know the the setup, the game in the graphics, sometimes they just don't want to get off. They want to beat that laptop. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. because it's arcade likes, because it feels like oh, the mate, when you get into competition, that's yeah. it. You gotta beat it there, like you have to. Yeah, and I think I think that's the, the crazy thing about um virtuality, especially with our racing. Um, the investment that's gone into that game um through those guys is 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 phenomenal. It's it's um you know the the detailing. You know, even if you're not a petrol head, the, the you know the stitches, the 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 everything, the the the, the grain and the leather to the to the smoke to the gravel coming up in front of you, yeah. it's mind blowing. And I think it's like you're actually there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I, I think I think that's 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 why we're so excited to see that we all know that technology moves fast, and um, I think that's why we start we are going to start to see it in a lot of everyday stuff. Yeah. Um, and it's it's exciting. Um, it's really going to open our eyes. It's like what I tell these guys all the time in terms of like celebrities and stuff. It's not what you know. Of course, it's about what you know. Yeah. But it's not about more what you know. It's about who you know as well. So yeah, if you exactly. can utilize the people around you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. can be going places. Well, this is the thing. And I think, I think as well that um, there are a lot of people out there that give you good, honest feedback as well. And I think everyone... As I said, you, you, we we listen to every clientele. We listen to every bit of feedback because, at the end of the day, all of that amounts to, to 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 great feedback for us to then improve and be better. Whether it's the way we, you know, our service to how quick we set up to the game into everything, positive and negative, we 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 we're, we're critical and we we like to you know improve ourselves every time. So, where do you see your business going in the next, say, five years? I where wanna, would you like to see it? I'd like to be. Millionaire retired. <laughs> no, <laughs> doesn't I, everyone. Yeah, does, yeah, no, five years. Oh, uh, well, do you know what? How old I do you did, know if you don't mind me asking? Me? Yeah. I'm I'm an old 37. That's not old at all. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, grey hairs are showing. Um, but no, yeah, I mean, five years time, 100%, you know, if everything goes really well, you know, I'd love to expand. I'd love to, you know, bring more personnel on board. Yeah. Um, maybe, you know, the dream is just to have a, a base in London, maybe a base up north. Um, but yeah, to, a bigger team would be amazing. Um, to them, you know, have a, a couple of our own, um, you know, trucks um, that we, you know, a fuzzy brick logoed up, and then yeah. we can we can take we can be have, doing two or three events a day. Um, you know, or you know, some people do you know some events up north, and we do down south, um, and really kind of have the best technology to our fingertips, and really kind of push the boundaries. Do you not know be really cool if you had yeah. like, like a lorry, and in, in the back of the lorry, a whole setup for uh, like 
really loads of stations of VR all competing against each other. Well, and you this, can take that on the road. I mean, this is the thing that that that'll be that'll be our that'll be an absolute dream. But we always have to remember our our, our ethos and what we we the mobility thing is is massive for us. Yeah. And I think the the real nice thing would be to start actually sending out say a big company wants. Uh, fortnightly competition, weekly competition. That we go out, yeah. we set up these set up these uh, VR stations, and they stay there. And it's uh, eight points in the country: Manchester, London, yeah. Leeds, like a, full a big on company. Tour, basically, yeah. Well, these well, these people will have those setups, and then they can communicate between each other every yeah. week, and they they play a game against each other, and we collate the leaderboard and all the information and the logarithms, mm. and we send it to the clients. So for one month, they've got those d- dotted up in different parts of the country, and they know from different teams and d- uh, within that company around uh, the country, they, they, they know their performance and how they're performing. Yeah, because not only is it a business, but... It- it's something that's very fun for yourself as well. Can you yeah, see? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, oh, you're smiling when you're talking yeah, about it. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Well, it's it's it. I think the beauty of it is is that any any anything that you do, if you put a smile on someone's face and you you see reaction, and you know we've seen the the biggest or burliest blokes play some of these games and not want to step on a plank or not want to do this or go on a roller coaster ride because it's um it's you know the heights and the sensations of feeling like you're flying to yeah. racing car. Um, we've seen girls scream and run off, but. VR maybe might not be we which we totally have to be respectful. But it might not be for everyone, but to get the reactions, is it because it's too realistic? Yeah. And and sometimes that it's only going to get more and more realistic. Have Have you ever? This might sound like a stupid question, no, but no. have you ever had someone like get scared of whatever they're seeing and essentially chuck the VR headset on the floor? And oh, we've like yeah, I've, we've had. Uh, I mean, we we as I said, we've um, famously on it was on this morning that. Uh, Holly and uh, Phil were on a walk the plank and we, we've had that for a while now, that game. And it basically sets you up on a high story building. Um, you then opened up the doors and you walk off the edge of a plank and you pick up two rockets and you fly mm. off. And it might sound easy, but as I said, we've had burly men and we've had women that point blank will go, put it on. Women and men, I shouldn't be saying that, but yeah, women and men press the button, go up in a lift, open the door. And because we have a fan at the end of that plank, which yeah. is another sensation, they think they're at the top of a building and they won't step on the plank because we've got a physical plank. So the foot has to lift up off the floor yeah. and step on the plank. So oh, Okay, so you've got a physical object there physical as well. Physical plank, you've got the, which we made a bit wobbly as well, a fan at the end, and that will create that sensation. And we will have people take the headset off and, and no, 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 no. I'm yeah, scared of heights. Me personally, yeah. I don't care if it's virtual reality, I want to do that. <laughs> no, a lot of people don't. <laughs> but, try but, but when you start looking at that's what we want to do in respects to how many times has that person come gone away, come back yeah. after 15 minutes and, and conquered, to do it again, yeah. and conquered after 15 minutes or a couple of attempts to walk the plank. Yeah, and I mean, what, if you think and, about it, you can someone can face their fears through VR and they've done it through their colleagues holding their arms yeah talking to them that's 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 team building at its best yeah no that's perfect yeah as I said we just started 2020 guys um and it's the first podcast we we have done mm. so how do you see yourself evolving in 2020 what's the next step you could do to grow your business well we were very lucky um sort of towards the end of of um 2019 and after the launch of you know being in IP Expo and getting that great exposure to work with some um, great you know events organizers and those events organizers literally have a, a fantastic portfolio of different kind of customers so already running into this year we've got business and we've got people great brands to be working with um, some great setups so for us it's really working closely with those guys and others to really get great reactions and then move on from there and, and, and try and really kind of expand ourselves with those events guys and listen to what they their feedback and what they need from us to in order to 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 um to to delve further into their portfolio and understand that there's there's more business and more clients that we can be become desirable. But I think as well going forward, um we have to be as proactive and more proactive than ever to to keep those regular posts coming through, not hold off the gas pedal. It's very easy, I think, even to think, oh, well, we're okay for now. Yeah. We want to be even better, but that means you've got to work 10 times harder. You've so, got, always got to expand. Yeah, you've always got to expand. You've always got to anticipate the worst outcome. And it's not being in a negative way. It's always assuming, well, 
if not, nothing comes in next month or next month or next month, which we hopefully doesn't happen, but we've always got to realize, is it because mm-hmm. we didn't, we didn't take our, you know, put our foot down on the gas pedal more. And it, it, it does mean working harder and, and, and be more diligent and calling people and make sure people are happy and, and, and finding out what new business there is out there, looking at new technology, looking at what other competitors are doing. Um, so yeah, it's, it's is, it, is it a competitive market? It's an interesting question because at the moment, it is quite in 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 context of how many people you have to find you know call up to find it's um it's not that competitive at the very moment yeah there is when we first started with the four racing seats a racing setup um there was a lot of people that were doing yeah. um uh racing simulators whether it be flat screen with the you know with a moving um uh, you know capsule um you know phenomenal um but obviously the vr immerses you more so people then yeah. do vr We've got to remember those rigs that people got them on. Um, they they're can't not, go. Yeah, they I was can't just go. Say, they're not portable. No, yeah, they're not portable. So the portable element was very important for us because if some client had a, a business meeting and those room was as big as this or smaller, I've done presentations and been forced into a tiny, tiny office with eight people, and I've managed to show everything yeah. in there uh, to a to a tight capacity, but. If it works, it works. And if I can do that, then, you know, sky's the limit. I can take it to someone's penthouse and, you know, that will be another avenue for us I'm, I'm trying to get into is looking at these private parties. There are people out there that want, you know, instead of having, you know, maybe DJs and all sorts, there are people out there that just want, you know, entertainment on a different level. And I think it will happen. You know, everyone laughs at silent discos, but, you know, one day people might be, all be wearing VR headsets and think they're in a, a beach somewhere, <laughs> beach could, party, but in their, living, yeah, in their living room. Um, mm. Yeah, uh, as we said before, new technology is uh, like VR and AI. Um, you only have to see what Facebook are going to do in the next few years. It's kind, it's 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 mind blowing. Yeah, um, technology is the future. So I think the market that you're in is really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so yeah, it, you know, we might not be doing this interview face to face next time. Yeah. You might be in another country <laughs> and we're doing it through VR, man. It will be true. You know, all the, 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 now the headsets eventually soon will be doing face recognition. So if I was to play a game against you and we're, I don't know, sword fighting or shooting each other, it would rec- I, the person that I see through my VR headset will be exactly your face because it will recognize your face. It will do an augmented reality. Yeah. It will, it, they start to do full body augmented reality. So you could be standing there with your stature and my stature and we'd recognize and that's how social media will come about. They will literally be able to see your relatives at the other, in the other, you know, other side of the world and you physically be able to see them. Yeah, it's just like how probably back in the day when people thought things like FaceTime wouldn't be a thing. No, exactly. It's the same with VR. It's just the way everything evolves. Yeah. It may even come to a point where you don't actually need the VR headset anymore. Well, it's getting to that point as well. I think Samsung or Sony, shall I say, um, one of them has, has released a new car. Yeah. It's a concept, but that concept is a car. Maybe not so much for our petrol head, being the petrol head lovers. But I'm guessing be, it's electric. It, it's more than electric. It's driverless, but it's a oh, full-on yeah. entertainment system. So you sit in that car and it's flat screens. It's everything around you. Yeah. And you just forget you're in a car and it drives you to your destination. Oh, might be great if you've got a hangover because <laughs> you don't have to try and you can't drive. But yeah, it's it, it's just showing the way that things will literally be taken out of your grasp. Yeah. Scary as it may sound, and you will be going straight into, you know, straight into that. It's, it's, Again, it's looking at technology like AI and AI that we were looking at um, the way that people, even plumbers are using it. They're putting on their virtual reality or should I say AI goggles and one will be able to show the pipe work uh, in a building because they it will be mapped out and then put through the portal into their into their system and they'll be able to see piping, electric work. Um, yeah, it's just like how drones are being used now to like uh, measure and look at buildings from the top aerial view and stuff like that without having to use a crane or something how they used to exactly it's it's and it and it's quite it's quite um it's quite uh interesting and, and accelerative to realize that some of these things are existing technologies that we've got out there mm. but because of those things like ai ai and ar they have just accelerated it even more. I mean, we've all, the car's been around for years. It's a Ford, technically, an electric car. We've all had electric motors in our remote control cars. It's adapting it on a bigger scale. Yeah. But it's that whole thing of, 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 of AI and AR and, you know, and other technologies out there that have just put things at a very, very fast pace. Yeah. You know, um, and it's, it's going to be very interesting to see how communication, education, 
training entertainment will 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 be in the next sort of Industry. even 10 years 10 years you know be crazy so for people watching this and who they might want to book with you or something like that how can yeah. you do that where can they find you i'm everywhere no <laughs> <laughs> so fuzzy brick fuzzy brick vr we're on instagram we're on um we're on facebook we're on linkedin um but yeah come on to the website message me private message me what's your um, website we are Fuzzy Brick VR. Yeah. And uh fuzzybrick.co.uk. Make a pardon. I have to do that again. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. It's cool. For for people listening as well, yeah. just make sure you listen to it as well. Yeah, yeah. Fuzzybrick.co.uk. And it's uh we're on Fuzzy Brick VR. Um and just yeah, follow us on Instagram, follow us on LinkedIn, um, private messagery. Um, we're more than open uh to listen to what you want, uh, entertainment wise, team building wise, big corporate events, brand promotion. Just let us know, guys. Um, we'll cut it for you. Yeah, wicked. And just following that, um, people listening or watching, follow. make sure you follow CEO Cast on Spotify now as well. Um, so it's really good if you're in the car, something you want to get some motivation, knowledge and inspiration. That's that. And also subscribe to us on YouTube because we've got some really, really exciting guests planned. Um, you make sure you want to subscribe for next week, Sunday, um, and drop a like on the video as well. We've got a person coming from uh, a rapping place i won't say who i was just about to but i'm not going to do that um so yeah just make sure you subscribe stick around for that one all right guys uh i think we're gonna wrap it up there so i want to thank mark very much for having me on the podcast thank you guys Being thank a you guest. like i said if you want to follow his um website follow his instagram make sure you book an event as well if you've got anything you need um and also same thing with us follow us make sure you follow us on spotify if you're listening to us right now follow us to see your cost on instagram on facebook and twitter I'll put that all here right now, as well as the description in Spotify. Um, so, yeah, thank you, guys. Like I said, leave a like and subscribe for the next one because really exciting. Trust me. <laughs> Mark, thank you for having that. Here. Thank you, man. Yeah. Thank you very much. What do you think? Then? All good. Yeah? Yeah, all good. good. Yeah, good, man. Thank good. you very much. Yeah, that's cool.